guys, Dr. Alex here, and today's video we're going to be talking all about my WHOOP. My W-H-O-O-P, my WHOOP. WHOOP is a wearable tracking device. Probably shouldn't say tracking device. It's a wearable device meant to measure your recovery and help you manage your health and specifically your training uh, if you are an athlete. Now, where it differs from, say, maybe the Apple Watch or a Fitbit is it's less concerned about measuring steps or uh, acting as uh, an interactive device. Uh, the Whoop is, is just a band and it measures a couple of things. It measures your, your heart rate, your respiratory rate, your heart rate variability, and based on those, it also makes some interpretations about your sleep. And, and where it's different is it's all about as trying to assess how you are recovering. And so in our office, we always talk about the four essentials needed to be healthy, healthy spine and nervous system, movement, nutrition, recovery. And so something that I've been searching for, always been wondering is how am I recovering? What are the things that I am doing between workouts, at work, sleep, nutrition? How is that impacting how I'm recovering day to day and how can I maximize it so that I can A, be healthier and B, get a little faster on my bike. And so in this video, I'm going to give you a little tour through my Whoop. I'm going to give you my impressions about it from having it for two months. We're going to save it another video to talk about whether you should get it or not. But in this video, I'm going to give you a little tour. I'm going to show you how it works and I'm going to give you some of my impressions for having it for a couple of months. So let's start off by opening up the app and you guys can follow along with me. So we're going to open up to my Whoop and I'm going to give you a basic tour. So when you first open it up, you're going to see that this screen gives you a little bit of data. It's going to give you your recovery score from last night in red, yellow, or green. It's going to tell you how much strain you've had based on your heart rate data, which this measures. I'm at 11.3 for the day. I've already had a workout. Uh, and then you can also on this home screen take a peek at what your sleep was like from the night before. So a couple of things. So we know that the heart rate measurement from this device is not as good as say from a blood pressure cuff and I notice a difference between my, my Garmin heart rate strap on my chest and the Whoop. So I imagine there's a little bit of error and we know that this is less accurate measuring heart rate. So since that's the main thing it's pulling data from, there's obviously going to be a bit of error with it. I find that on a workout this typically measures 5 to 10 beats sometimes higher for, for my heart rate. So I'm assuming the Garmin on my chest is a bit more accurate. So there is that. And then in terms of heart rate variability, if you're not sure what that is, uh, your heart rate is not metronomic every single beat. We know that there is variability in how frequent those heartbeats come in, and it varies just in milliseconds. Typically, the higher your heart rate variability, the more healthy you are, the more well rested, the more recovered you are, the more better able you are to perform. And when somebody is sick, or on the extreme case, close to death, their heart rate variability lowers. So I'm going to talk about that in a second and a couple of things I've noticed. So uh, uh, let's continue our tour. So we talked about this home page. We can head over to the strain page. It tells you, you know, your max heart rate for the day, average heart rate, calories. If I flick down, I can look at what my week has looked like and look at some of these different numbers and different variables. For me, the page I like to look at most is my recovery. So I'm going to head up to the recovery page. I was happy this morning when I woke up. I figured my recovery score was going to be pretty good. And the reason that my whoop told me my recovery was good last night, my, my 83, was because my, my heart rate variability was higher than my average. My resting heart rate was uh, pretty good or lower than my average. I'll show you that right now. So you can see down at a 49, I've been training at around the same level except for a blip on the Monday, which I will talk about. Um, here's a peak of my heart rate variability, a little unsteady this week. I will talk about that again. Um, and then, so the recovery score, if we go back up, that's going to be based off resting heart rate, 
heart rate variability, and, and your sleep score, which I don't know how they calculate it, but they calculate it somehow. Uh, and if we go over to the sleep, this is where you can see like last night I had uh, more sleep than I needed, which is good. Uh, if you click on it, you can get some general information. And if you scoop down, you can look at what your data looks like for the week. Uh, I'll show you guys what the sleep data looks like overall, or what my sleep was like last night. So when we open up this screen, uh, measuring your heart rate, it's going to try to interpret what zones you are in, in terms of being awake light sleep, REM sleep, deep sleep, and then based on how your heart rate, how much time you're in each zone, it's gonna to try to give you a reflection of how your sleep was. So, in terms of my experience so far, oh, sorry, I'm skipping a big thing. So, the whole point of using the Whoop, or what I'm trying to use the Whoop in, is that if we slide down, it's trying to make sure that for me, I don't overtrain. Uh, I tend to push myself too hard when it comes to being on the bike and I don't know when to quit and in the past I've trained too hard. I haven't had overtraining syndrome, thank God, but definitely overreached um, and dug myself into a bit of a hole that I've had to rest my way out of. Good for training, uh, but, but can be detrimental, especially if you go into overtraining syndrome. So on this screen, you can see it compares where your strain is in the blue to where your recovery is and you typically want to try to match really recovered days to more uh, intense strain days. And so this week I have not done the best job at matching the two, which I will get into like I said in a second, which I think is, is useful information. But typically I've been doing a good job and I've been trying to make sure that the workouts that I pick on a given day try to match the strain level um, that the whoop says I can take on based on my recovery. So you can see on this day, I've only had a couple of days in the red. Uh, those days I have been ill or have been sick or had some sort of medical problem. And I think in the past I would have uh, probably pushed through it and worked out. But since my robot tells me that I shouldn't, I haven't. On that day I had a really low strain of seven. That was um, from lazing around the house and I think I maybe went for a walk outside and my strain was lower than my recovery, which is the recommendation if your recovery is poor, which mine was terrible that day. So in terms of that 31, um, uh, I didn't have COVID, thank God. Uh, I had some sort of, of stomach problem, whether it was acid reflux or like a, some sort of virus. My physician doesn't know, I'm fine, I got tested, I'm okay. Um, but in this case, uh, when I woke up, I felt awful and I felt pretty rough over the weekend at a 47 and a 49, despite having good sleep, despite having good nutrition. And in this case, uh, I woke up and I'm like, okay, I'm definitely gonna be in the red, and with no surprise, I, I was. And then throughout the week, I, uh, I was able to do a little bit more exercise. I started to feel better. And then I don't think, uh, and not coincidentally in my mind, you can see that my recovery scores have slowly ticked up. If I head over to the recovery page, you'll see that same trend with heart rate variability that with my uh, feeling better, not being ill or whatever was going on getting better, that my trend is going in the right direction. And, and my uh, positive about the WHOOP, my, my good review, is that so far I've noticed this trend, is that when I go through previous weeks and uh, we see dips in response, uh, or sorry, dips in heart rate variability, it usually corresponds to an intense bout of exercise. So if I go back over to the main page, um, when I have a really intense workout, say on Monday the 4th uh, at 17.7, you can see the next day my heart rate variability drops. On Tuesday, I was at work all day, I didn't work out, and then my recovery score was better the next day. Big workout, it dropped a bit. So in my experience, it does match pretty well um, to what I'm experiencing. Uh, when I take uh, a recovery week, I'm just gonna try and find one, like so this week of December 28th, sorry, November 28th to December 4th, recovery week, low strain, heart rate variability and recovery goes back up. 
So overall, I'm finding that it's fairly accurate with where I think it should be based on the things that I'm doing for myself uh, in terms of, of getting good sleep, putting good food in my body. Um, if I push myself hard in a workout, the re I know the recovery score is gonna drop and my heart rate variability drops. So to me, it does seem actually quite accurate um, and I'm going to use it and continue to use it to help guide my workouts. I haven't had too many days where I look at it and be like, that doesn't seem right. Actually, I don't think I've had a single day where that doesn't seem right. And I do notice that on the days when I'm in the green, when I've had good recovery, my workouts, it could be my brain, could be placebo, but my, my power like numerically is good, my heart rate data is good on my workouts, and, and I generally feel better and feel like I can give her more. Um, so I've been really happy with that thus far. Now for me, maybe different from some other people, my life right now, very boring. Work, bike, hang out with my partner, and, and at home, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Home, reading, relaxing, cooking. So I don't have too many variables, so uh, I think that has helped with the WHOOP to identify what makes a difference for my recovery, what makes a difference for my strain, um, and has allowed me to kind of parse out, I think, how, how accurate at least I think it is. Uh, on one particular day, had a lot of family stress, and that was the other day where my score was in the red, and I was really, uh, not relieved to see the red score, but relieved to see that, that in really like seven, eight, nine out of 10 stressful day, that resulted in a, a change in the WHOOP score and it predicted it quite nicely. Now, if we, uh, if we go online, and I'll show you in a little bit uh, uh, some of the features where it shows, say like meditation, um, stretching, uh, alcohol consumption, and a number of other variables, you're gonna see that it tries to predict when you do these things, whether it makes a difference for your heart rate variability, whether it makes a difference for your sleep. And if you look at mine, or when you look at mine, you're gonna notice that like it's not too predictive so, so far. Maybe it needs more data over the next coming months and coming years um, to, to be able to predict. Uh, the really funny thing I posted on Instagram was one day it told me that whenever I consume alcohol, we're not like talking like binge drinking, we're talking like having a couple drinks, my heart rate variability tends to go up. So that's the complete opposite from what I've heard from other athletes, from other blogs. Uh, maybe I'm too stressed out and I need a drink to, to, to chill out. But uh, I don't think I'm gonna take that whoop information and use it too often. Um, on the contrary to like sometimes when I stretch or when I meditate, it tells me my scores and my recovery is worse. Maybe I'm just doing that on days where I tend to be more stressed and under-recovered, but I've been pretty consistent with both of those things. So the thing that you might really like is you might be able to, if you're not super consistent with your lifestyle, figure out what things are actually making a difference for you. Is mindfulness making a difference in your sleep? Is stretching? Is drinking uh, alcohol? Whatever it might be. Is it making a difference in terms of how you're recovering and how healthy you are? So. Like I said, in another video, we're gonna talk about whether I think you should get one. But in this video, my initial impression of the Whoop, I love it. Uh, I like that it seems fairly accurate. It matches, for the most part, what I'm feeling. Uh, it's giving me some information that I'm actually putting to use. Now, uh, it's only been a couple times where it's changed my behavior in terms of not working out, but it has made me select different workouts on different days where in the past I might have uh, overdone things and this I've picked either a more intense workout of recovery is good, a less intense workout of recovery is bad, um, and then done a couple bike races on days where it says I'm ready to perform. So, so far, I would give the WHOOP a good high score. Uh, I like it, I've got the year membership. I'll keep updating you guys if I notice some things. Uh, if you have any questions about it, let me know, I'd love to hear, I'd love to answer them, uh, I'd love to hear your feedback, and uh, I'll work on a video talking about whether or not I think you should get one. Until then, guys, take care, recover hard, and I'll see you soon.